Hi everyone, in front of me I've got Poco C50 and let me share with you how to change this navigation type with the buttons to the gestures. So first of all we have to enter the settings and then we have to scroll until we will find the home screen option. Let's enter. And as you can see here, we've got the system navigation, so let's tap. And here we've got two different options. We've got the buttons, which are of course currently applied. And here we've got the animation with the gestures. In order to set the gestures, we will have to tap on this animation. But uh, just a quick disclaimer about the buttons. If you will decide that you want to uh, stick with this option, here you can customize it. So as you can see, you can change the position. You can reorder the buttons so we can mirror them, the back button and the recents. You can set uh, some buttons shortcuts or you can automatically disable navigation buttons. As I said, it's up to you. I will pick the gestures because I really prefer this uh, system navigation. And as you can see, after tapping on it, your device will ask you if you want to learn the gestures. So uh, you can simply go through the tutorial um, of how to use them. But I don't want to do it because uh, I already know how to do it and I'll show you uh, later on how to use the gestures. So you also don't have to go through the tutorial. Under it, under the gestures, we've got also the options uh, thanks to which you can customize it so we can hide the full screen indicator because as you can see, instead of the three buttons navigation, we've got the, this kind of line which uh, is responsible for particular gestures. I personally prefer to have it hidden, so let me turn on this option and, and as you can see, we've got a full screen without any indicators. And here we've got the gesture confirmation in some situations, so for example, if you're watching a video or if you're playing game and you want to get back, um, your device will ask you to double your gestures, so to repeat it in order to confirm it. Of course, you can turn off this option and under it you've got uh, some gesture demos. So enough of talking, let me show you how to use the gestures. So if you want to um, use um, a motion, a gesture which will um, which will mimic the back button, you have to swipe your finger from the uh, side of your device to the center, just like that, in order to see this arrow. When you will see it, you can release the finger. And as you can see, we just got back to the previous step. Um, and the same situation from the right side, so it works the same. If you'd like to get back directly to the home page, then all you have to do is to simply swipe your finger from the bottom to the center of your device. And this motion should be quite fast and short, just like that. And as you can see, we've got the home page. And in order to open the recents, um, so the previously opened apps, you have to do kind of the same motion, so from the bottom to the center, but this time do it kind of slowly and hold your finger somewhere here. Just like, maybe not like that, maybe not like that, like that. Uh, and as you can see here, we've got the recents. It may be quite confusing if you've got this uh, app drawer uh, mode set. All right, so uh, basically that's all. This is how to set the gestures in your Poco C15. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.